What's going on guys? King Trats here back another video on the channel and today we went to Halal guys. You want to know why? I kind of feel ashamed to admit this considering that I've been born and raised in the greater New York City area but what I'm about to tell you is 100% true. I've been in New York City a billion times. I've had Halal platters countless times. One of the most popular chains which started in New York City and has now branched all over the country and I, possibly the world for the last I checked. I've never had Halal guys. Not even once. I've had a lot of different platters on here, and yesterday I did a halal platter, and I got a bunch of messages from people saying, hey, you ever had halal guys? And I hadn't, so we got it. And that's what we're doing today. We took it to halal guys. I'm excited to try this because I love the push cart style platters that they serve in New York City, and they do serve in this area. Um, usually you get it late at night when you're having a good time, and um, yeah, uh, without further ado, let's do this. I don't even know where to start because I've never had it before. I did get a little bit of everything, of course, you didn't get french fries because they forgot it in my DoorDash order when everything else is accounted for. We move. Where's my straw? I guess we should start with the flagship. What they are known for is the platter, the halal platter. Halal isn't actually like the kind of meat it is, it's how the meat is made. People may not realize this, but um, let me just give you a quick halal thing. What halal actually means is, is it's permissible to eat by Muslim law. That's really all that it means. Um, these were made popular by a lot of people in New York City, so it just became known as halal food but anything that is halal is halal, not necessarily just this. Does that make sense? What we have here on this platter is a chicken and falafel platter. It does not have lettuce. I did get extra rice and I got tomatoes. They do come with tomatoes there as well and pita and what they are known for and what everybody knows and loves about halal guys and all of these types of food is the white sauce, which they serve in packets here with nutrition information on the back, 330 calories for this. Um, pretty cool that you can see what's in it and how many calories are in it, but that's not why I'm here. We don't care about that today. We just want to make sure that we get it on our food. Wait, 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 make sure that's not there. You can see the spice blend, which is dope. Very important. All right. Um, I have to admit that when I usually do get food like this, when I used to get it from the push carts, um, there's a lot more white sauce <laughs> than what I usually get, but let me show y'all what it's working with, show you what it is. They do have red sauce, which is the hot sauce too. Um, I'm not gonna put that on just yet. I wanna try it without. Normally my rule is not to try it with condiments, but normally when you get it from the push cart, the white sauce is already on there, but when you order it, um, they're not gonna put it on there for you, which is a good idea anyway. Some people like a little, some people like a lot, so they usually just will for you. But let's do this, get a little bit of chicken, a little bit of the rice. Who's ready? What am I doing with my spoon? The chicken's very good. Very good. Very tender. Not chewy. All the things you know and love. And I did get extra meat, but they do give you a lot. Let's try a falafel. Nothing like a fried ball of chickpeas and spices. What a red sauce. <laughs> I, gotta I gotta get it. Okay, let's, let's not be a caveman here. Alright, let's see how spicy this is. I've never had anything from Halal Guys. It's actually my first time. Their sauce is spicy. That caught me off guard. Every place has different rice when they do this. They're using the jasmine rice, and it's a lot more deep of a yellow than the other places that I'm used to eating. I prefer jasmine rice, so I'm glad they used it. I just like the texture and the flavor. Not a lot of oil on the rice, which is good. Alright, let's get some of these tomatoes in here. A lot of people don't realize I actually really like tomatoes, and I like the acid that it has. Mmm. Yeah. Tomatoes are very important. 
Mm. I like the spices on their chicken a lot. Also, the spices that they have in the white sauce. Some white sauce that you see. All right, I'm going to try to give you the example. I know I show food way too much, but see if I can just give you a quick example. It's going to have to be this way. Now, you can see there's like seasoning on there in the actual white sauce. Some white sauce that you get, you won't see uh, the pepper and, and the stuff in there that you normally would see. Sometimes it's just like just plain white and it doesn't have as much flavor. Their white sauce has a lot of flavor to it, which is good. And I know just looking at the back that the ingredients say soybean water egg yolk distilled vinegar that's mayonnaise I can taste the mayo uh, when you buy Hellman's these days it's usually soybean oil that they use and I can taste the mayo which is the base for when you get it from the push cart some of the places that do these platters it's as if they aren't using the right mayo or something that tastes like Hellman's in here Let's get a pizza. Ooh, fresh, warm. Warm pizza. Nice. Okay. I like that. All right, where's my open sauce? Dark, chill out behind me, bro. I just missed the whole thing. We indeed move. Where's the red sauce? Yeah. All right, this time don't squirt half the freaking thing on there. There we go. I squirted half the thing on there again. We're fine. All right. Excuse me. Hmm. Me likey. They do have the option. Juicy platters as well, which is a similar. Customizable, like you can get different things. I think one thing that I would get next time I would get extra tomatoes. I think it's like 99 cents extra, which is ridiculous for tomatoes, but I really like that acid in there. I would guess that a lot of people that do this would like the lettuce cutting through there, but to me, lettuce sucks, so I'm not doing it. All right, let's try another. I like the falafel too. When it's green like this, you know it's real. That's what you need. Mm. All right, let's get some of platter number two. I also want to try this too. Let me get my white sauce on here first. Okay. Guess you don't want to work with me. Get the white sauce. Now this second platter has chicken as well, but I got a mix. So it also has gyro meat, lamb gyro meat. Um, some people do pronounce it gyro, and I think it's just like an anglicized version, but it's a gyro for those in the peanut gallery. I haven't tried the lamb gyro yet, so I got to get some of that in here too. So let's get this lamb, the lamb. And the chicken. No, let's just do the lamb first. Let's get the lamb. I get all that to get one little. All right, just here. All right, you gonna fall off anyway? All right. Make sure I get a little more white sauce on here too. Bow. I think my favorite kind of platter is the lamb. Everywhere, it's just more flavorful. That's good. I have to say for being a franchise like Halal Guys, knowing that they have places all over the country at the very least. This doesn't taste like franchise chicken. And it doesn't taste like franchise lamb. The thing that you notice right off the bat as compared to just going to like a local spot 
is the amount of branding that it has. But honestly, still very good. Mm. When it comes to making a good platter, in my opinion, it all has to work. You gotta have tender meat, well seasoned. You gotta have good rice. Some people who are really oily rice don't like it. The fresh veggies, nice soft pita, and the white sauce, it has to work together it's like a symphony. Like an orchestra. If you don't have one and you're missing the drums or you're missing the cello or the violin, just don't come out the same. Yes, I just spoke about food like it's a freaking orchestra. I don't play. Mmm. Mmm. I really like that lamb. Working with that white sauce. And y'all know I love my rice. Yellow jasmine rice. Sign me up. Sign me up again. And their pita. Not hard at all. Soft but not chewy. Dub. The only thing I will say, compared to the other places I've been, they don't give you a lot of pita. You get three of these, which is equal to about a half of a pita. Some places you get like three of them. And I mean full three. But it is a good pita. You can always order extra and do that. Their price point is also higher as well. All of these start at like $11. And most of the places that I've been to, it's like eight. Mm. Oh, and before I forget, cranberry lemonade. I've been on a new thing where I'm trying to drink. And shout out to the few people that told me how stupid I was last time when I couldn't get the thing open. And I was trying to use a knife. And they said, hey, <laughs> I know I'm dumb. They said, you do realize that this thing right here has a pointy end that you're supposed to just, would you look at that? <sighs> Thank you. I don't know what I'd do without y'all. That's, that's a really dumb move on my part. I didn't even think of that. So I'm not going to sit here and lie and be like, oh yeah, I knew. But this is cranberry lemonade. Ooh, that's nice. That's nice. I don't really like drinking my calories unless they're going to get me drunk, but... I think it's a nice part to add to the whole ambiance is to try a drink from there too. That's some crazy stuff. Mint lemonade. Um, I think they had lychee, which I absolutely I hate lychee. Never had lychee, just don't. Um, never eaten fabric softener. Very similar. Yeah. All right, let's get this bite right here. That lamb is the best. Chicken is fire. Like this chicken, very good. And I like the fact they use big pieces and fine meat. But the lamb is the standout. And I'm kind of low key mad that I'm out of tomatoes. This is beef? That is beef. It's spicy like lamb. I don't know how many people in the comments right now tell me, yo, you're an idiot, you're eating beef. I thought I was eating lamb, bro. <laughs> I don't care. It was spicy to the point. And my fat ass was gobbling it down the whole time. But I didn't even realize it. Now I look at my receipt. And it's beef. Then I tracked the texture closer because I was just wolfing it down. Damn. They spice it like that wood lamb in my opinion. Whoa. Bravo. Anyway. We got a chicken and beef euro. Full sandwich. No lettuce. But I did get the tomato. 
So let's unwrap this bad boy. It's beefy. Did I get extra meat? No. Look how beefy that is. You know I gotta add. Where's my white sauce? What if, okay. Shorty thick. All right. The whole time I was like, hey, this lamb, oh, this lamb. I know y'all was yelling at the camera. I'll be doing that too. I'm mad enough to admit when I'm stupid. I'm tired, I ain't. <laughs> Let's check this. Bro, you get so much meat out of here. Especially when you don't ask for lettuce. Look at this. Bro, don't be getting that lettuce, bro. Get extra meat. Same idea. Super tender. I need that tomato, though. I'm about to bite it from the top. Messed up my whole flow. Word for word, bar for bar. That's good. Mmm. You can serve this meat on a foot and it'll still be good. Y'all know I'm gonna do it. This stuff's becoming my ketchup. <laughs> I put it on everything. Some of the olive oil that was in the hummus like got into my bag and it's on my hands. Which makes them feel really soft, but I put truffle on everything. Truffle hot sauce. This is the white truffle one. My favorite, if you ask me. And I like it better than their red sauce. Their red sauce is hot, but it doesn't taste good. It's just hot. Whereas this is hot, but it's delicious. Mm, that's how I hit on women. I'm, I, I'm saying I'm delicious on this one. That'd be really cheesy, wouldn't it? I can't even get the dams. These packets don't agree with me. Okay, there we go. Okay. But if you do want access, do you want to try the truff? I said this yesterday. I'm going to leave the link in from now on. It is on the bottom in the description if you want to try it. Truffle hot sauce, the white one. Whew, sheesh. Damn. That is a symphony. I ate all that little bite. And it's on my face too, isn't it? We got it. With this tomato too. I'm not saying this for any reason other than the truth. Just keep truffle on hand when you're eating. I just, I, I think it enhances the flavor shit, man. It's just good. Oh, they gave me barbecue sauce. Which is supposed to go on the euro, but they didn't. I'm just interested to see what kind of barbecue sauce they're working with. It smells sweet and it's very thick. Yeah, it's sweet as hell. I like a sweet and spicy barbecue. The tomato, I have to wipe my face, I not feel it. It's genuinely a game changer for me. Just having that extra acid in there with the spices, it's just a dub. And I know it's funny because I won't eat tomatoes on the cheeseburger though, but I'll eat these, which aren't cooked. Mm. Almost bit the foil. Fat ass. Mm. Mm. Yeah. The chicken and the beef are both delicious. But if you really want something, truffles are good too. I would say get the mix or get the beef. I prefer the mix to get like a contrast. Moving right along the new Halal Guys Express. I wanted to try the fries. I'm kind of mad I didn't get them. But like I said, we move. 
I want to try their hummus, which, crazy enough, doesn't come with pita bread. It comes with pita chips, which I've never seen that. Usually you just get the pita just like this and you dip it in the hummus, but they gave it these pita chips right here. Which I'm sure they probably use like their old pita. Maybe they fry them up or toast them or something. Um, I don't know if they're really seasoned, but here's their hummus. That's olive oil in there. Uh, usually there's tahini as well. But I'm going to get a nice little, nice little health food hummus. Don't get me started, please. Yeah, the toasted pita almost has like a sesame taste to it. Like when you get pita chips from the store. I'm gonna try it with the regular pita too. Because the pita chips taste is so strong that I'm not really tasting the flavor of the hummus by itself, so I'm just curious. It's good hummus. I mean, it's not great hummus. I've had better hummus. But it's edible hummus. How many times are we gonna see hummus? I know a lot of people love hummus, so I wanted to try it. Um, I like the hummus that you get from like the spots where they make it like a meal, where you can get it with meat. Um, I usually will get it with lamb or beef euro meat, right on there. I can't believe I messed up that lamb. <laughs> it's all good, but it's good. I wouldn't sit here like, oh my god, you have to get the hummus though. No. But it's a respectable hummus. It's a good hummus. We can go out for a date, but I probably won't call you again hummus. Um, hummus that I might text a little bit and then ghost. But it was fun while it lasted hummus. That kind of hummus. This isn't hummus you take home to mom hummus. It's a sneaky link hummus. This is... I'm not going to tell you about like that what's going on with my friends. I'm done. I promise. Last one. I do like it though. And I also want to see something, so I'm gonna do it on the right. I have to. Shit's like liquid gold, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> they, just, they need to link up with every restaurant. And I'm I, like, I have to say this, I say this every time. I love truffle stuff, truffle fries, truffle popcorn, truffle burgers. So the taste with this, if you don't like truffle, do not get truff sauce. It tastes like truffle hot sauce, but it's thick and the truffle taste, oh yeah. It just works, man, for me. And I had a bunch of people I know try it and message me. I'm like, yo, you were right. It's good. So, take that how you want to. It's not going to change my life. Like, I just want y'all to have it, too. That's all. Now, there is one more thing, and you can't really see it here, but I have to try it. So let me bring this out. Come on, baby. You want to introduce yourself? Let me introduce y'all to my favorite one of, but it's definitely up there in the pantheon of desserts. And when I saw it on the menu, it had to happen. This, sliding around in there, trying to get away from me, is baklava. And what it is, is a delicious combination of things that are going to make me just feel all good inside. Hold on. Slide over, honey. Come here. Okay. Baklava lesson before I pull this out. Here, come, come here. Yeah, you, you done, rat. I'm gonna come back to you later. Here, you, you stand here with your boys. Okay, now, I don't like the fact that this is uneven, but it is, we move. What baklava is, is layered pastries, fil filo dough to be exact. You layer it, you add nuts, pine nuts a lot of times. Uh, sometimes I've seen pistachios. Let me get this real quick. And they usually sweeten it 
um, with syrup or with honey. And I love it. Like, I absolutely love it. I get it everywhere I go. It is one of the dishes that if you have it, I'm going to try it. Baklava, key lime pie, I get it every single time. So anyway, without me holding up your breath, let's see what we got. And usually, yeah, they broke it up. So let me just break you off a piece of this. And there's the nice sweet layer on the bottom. Okay, let me see. I've had some good baklava in my life, so it's a tough crowd. I'm gonna say this. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna say this. Mm. I'm gonna. I can explain. <laughs> I didn't. Okay. I don't know if somebody's back here making this because it comes in a box. But if this came from a box, give me the whole box next time. The phyllo dough is still intact, meaning it still has bite to it. A lot of times, they will drizzle way too much honey on top and it becomes soggy. This is not soggy at all. My hands are not screwed up from eating this. Now, you get enough of it that it's still really sweet. And those nuts. But, this one's got a good bite with the phyllo dough. I like that. That's good baklava, man. If you have never had baklava, and you live in the tri-state area, I don't know where you live in this country, hopefully you can run into it. Please. If you've lived in the Tri-State area, go to any diner in North Jersey, you'll find it. Eat it. And love it. My biggest issue with this baklava is next time tell me how big it is because I don't order nine of these things. Because I'm done. And I'm slightly depressed that it's not here anymore. That's good. That was really good. Really good. Lemonade was good. Overall, um, I like this. I did a lot. There are some things that I prefer, like the the down home aspect, the non franchise. Aspect. There are certain things that feel a little franchisey. Um, you know, just having the sauces and the experience is big when it comes to ordering food. But like I said, the meat, the rice, the platters, which is what their flagship is. Thumbs up. I haven't always heard the best things about Halal guys, and I know as places expand, they tend to not be as good. Would I say that this is better than like the push carts in the city, when you know which ones to go to? Or more of the mom and pop places? Probably not. But, if you're not sure where to get that stuff and you see a Halal guys, I'd recommend you eat it. I would 100% eat this again. The issue is we're in a tough crowd. But as far as the first time goes, they did some things that other places don't do that I really did like, like the tomatoes. Um, I like their sauce a lot, like a whole lot. I would put that up with anything. Price point's a little high. It feels like you're paying like LA prices for something that you can get for much cheaper. But overall, very enjoyable food, very good meat. Um, and I would 110% eat it again and make sure they got little mini bottles of truck too. I'm about to cop one of those when I go on the road. But anyway, I'm glad I tried this. Uh, I would, yeah, I would eat it again. I like it. That's going to be the end of the video though. If I can stop myself from eating this, fat ass. But yes, definitely good. So we'll be back tomorrow. I want to try this. You guys said to try it. So here I am. More content. I love y'all. Other hand, the hand sign. They made it to YouTube.